We recently talked about electricity rates and usage. In a little more than a decade, demand for power here in Texas has gone up by 29%. That is part of the equation for why we get those occasional conservation notices from the state imploring us to turn some stuff off so we don't overwhelm the grid, which could lead to blackouts like the deadly days long ones that we saw during the February 2021 deep freeze when the Texas grid almost collapsed. Now, if we want to avoid those tight conditions and encourage conservation, some have wondered why so many electric plans offer as much as you want to use free electricity on certain days or times of day. And what about those plans that incentivize using, let's say, a thousand kilowatts or more a month, but they charge you more per kilowatt hour if you use less than that? Well, I asked the Texas Public Utility Commission whether those kinds of plans conflict with the state's calls for conservation to protect the grid. They responded that those plans are allowed and they actually actually defended them, saying that in some cases, the plans for free electricity at certain hours or on certain days could shift consumer electricity de demand to those times when demand is typically lower. Now, the other part of the equation when we get those urgent cut back your electricity notices from the state is supply. This summer, we have generally had plenty of it, even when plants have gone offline, temps have soared, and demand has been high. So what changed? Well, a few big contributors have been renewables. An energy expert says on many high demand days this summer, solar alone has provided a quarter of all the electricity in Texas. And he tells me that Texas is number one in electricity production now from wind and solar farms and is expected to pass California next year to become number one for electricity storage in batteries, which are regularly tapped now to provide extra power when conditions are tight here. We've got 8,000 megawatts of storage at the time of winter storm Uri. We just, you know, not even four years ago, we had like 200. Wow. So 200 to 8,000 in less than four years. And we are not, and that's not showing signs of abating. We are probably going to maybe not double, but add 70, 80% before next summer. We'll wow, probably be huge. somewhere around 50. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. We recently had an interesting conversation on our Yolitics political podcast about how Texas is leading the way, not just in oil and gas, but also wind, solar, and battery storage. Uh, but our guest explains how that progress could be stunted in the months ahead. I have linked to this episode in my story posted today at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook X and Threads, where we always aim to be right on the money.